marketers need to be part of the news environment because our consumers are engaged in the news environment. You know, we, we advertise, and so let's just start with fundamentally with advertising. We advertise on a variety of news programs because consumers and people are watching news programs. So they're, they're, they're getting information about the world and about um, society and about trends, and therefore that's an opportunity for them to get information uh, about our products and our brands. Um, what it also has the opportunity is the news can also, if we work, marketers can work with them on creating stories that can, that can convey things that we may not be able to do in a piece of advertising. So we can create content that, that a, a journalist or a news um, company can do a better job of communicating it because they can, they can unpack it in maybe a, a more in-depth way and create different views of, of that particular area that might be of interest to people. For example, we, we did something last year with CNN and The Great Big Story on, it was called Words Matter. We produced a 20 minute film about P&G's uh, journey from uh, in affirmative action, but in a different type of affirmative action on endorsing uh, our acceptance of LGBTQ and looking for really no type, type of discrimination on the basis of sexuality. And it was, it started, you know, about 30 years ago and, and then evolved. And it was, we just went behind the scenes into all the discussions, what prompted it. Michael Chanik was the person who really pushed it, who was an employee of ours. And, and you could see how the thought process was and what the company th had to, uh, thought about, the kind of, you know, issues they may have faced and then ultimately went forward with this. That was a, it was a great story, and it got a lot of interest from a lot of people, and it shined the light on our company in, in a way that, that we probably couldn't have done ourselves, and it was better and more credible with a news organization doing so. And so I think there are opportunities for us to do that. It's one of the reasons why we have a relationship, a partnership with Katie Couric on Katie Couric Media. Katie Couric's a journalist. She's a great journalist, and she's, she's told some of the best stories and done some of the best uh, investigative journalism of anyone, and now we're working with her to create um, stories and, and unpack things and, and uh, investigate things that um, are of interest to the consumers we serve. You know, the issue of brand safety, of course, is paramount for any marketer mm -hmm. and certainly for you guys. How do you um, expect um, brand safety um, around your products um, in the news environment? Yeah, well, our standards are really the same across every piece of content that we're, or program that we'll put our ads on because you judge by the company you keep. And uh, so we have some very rigorous standards as to what's acceptable and, and not acceptable. And, uh, and so that's how we manage it. And if, if a line is crossed, then we'll, we'll pull um, our ads. What I think is maybe one of the most important questions right now when it comes to the news is what's the expectation around the news? And our expectation is not just the fundamental standards of, of, uh, of what's okay from a content standpoint, but a higher bar around truth and truth and transparency, shining the light on, on truth of situations that are occurring, issues that are occurring, um, and, and shining it though in such a way that, that maybe has not maybe, but has multiple views as opposed to one skewed view. And, and so we want, we want um, investigations, uh, investigative journalism to happen. We want um, uh, in interest that, so we can see different, different views of things because people are interested in that and it, it will make them more informed citizens to be able to decide what they want to do about it. And so that's, that's really what, what, what we're seeking and uh, what I'd like to see beyond that is if the news could not just focus on, on those things that are, you know, uh, sensational um, and focus on a range of things, you know, what are some positive things that are happening and, uh, and how can you shine a light on those positive things as to be a role model for others? Because the news has a huge impact on culture, on images, on, 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 on portrayals of people. And it's really important that they get the right balance of both the positive and the negative when they when they um, in their programming.